It is the end of the line for now for the Bluefin 21. The unmanned underwater drone today is ending its final mission, searching the floor of the Indian Ocean for Flight 370. This comes as investigators prepare for what they're calling the next phase in this search. Simon Mosin is live in Kuala Lumpur with more. And Simon, give us a sense of how long before there will be underwater vessels searching again because they're essentially taking a few months off here in some ways. Yeah, at least a few months, actually, John. And that's because uh, there's going to be quite a lengthy process of them trying to find the vehicles for the next phase. What they're doing is, and they haven't done it yet, by the way, is first of all, the authorities have to uh, invite tenders to get contracted to say, hey, we want to be responsible for the phase two of the search. Once they've done that, they're going to carry out negotiations. They're going to have to n uh, nail down a contract. And then phase two will start. They're estimating that could take up to at least August before that starts. Um, and, and this will then be, hopefully, many more underwater search vehicles employed under phase two. They're really going to try and ramp it up. They, they want side scan sonar equipment. Now, what that will do in comparison to the Bluefin 21 will is searching a much greater area under, under the water. The Bluefin could look around uh, 40 kilometers squared at a time. Uh, these these side scan sonar vehicles, these towed uh, scanners can uh, look up a far vast, vaster area, particularly the US Navy Orion ha has one that it tows that it will be able to look at a greater area if they can employ that in phase two as well. So All they right. want to have many more vehicles searching a wider area.